Hello and welcome to Abashed Pursue and I figured out in these times the best thing to do if I'm staying at home is to keep doing my reviews. Thank you Akash for pushing me to watch Westworld season 3 episode 1 and it was an absolute treat. So why do I say so? So sab ke liye Westworld nahi hai and I'm going to be reviewing it in English, Hindi and English because that is how I operate. So Westworld is not for everyone. If you like non-linear storytelling complexity, if you like dystopian worlds, if you like technology, if you like good acting performances, uh, coupled with creativity and a lot of surprises, then Westworld is your cup of tea. If you have not seen season 1 and season 2 of Westworld, then this review might not make much sense, but if you can buy in to go ahead and watch Westworld, then I would recommend that you review the So what is Westworld? Westworld is a park full of robots. Uh, wherein people from the real world, that is our world, go in to live their fantasies. They can be wicked, they can be dirty, they can be bad, they can even kill people, you can do a lot of stuff, you know what I'm pointing to, and which is not legally allowed in the real world. You can do all of that in West World. Season 2 ke ending pe kya was? At the end of season 2, uh, Dolores, played by even Rachel Wood, Rachel Even Wood, even Rachel Wood, Dolores is out, one of the main characters is out into the real world with five metallic balls. I'm sorry for calling it balls. Let us call them souls. I will explain why do I call it souls. And now she wants to dominate the real world, our world, the actual the world that we live in. Maeve, who is general, who is like literally a god or a messiah in Westworld, dies at the end. So that where we left and many people went to into a uh, let's just call a heaven kind of a setup in the end, escape into heaven that kind of a setup in Westworld, the end of season 2 after that shameless plugin, let's talk about why do I love Westworld so uh, Sanatan Dharma uh, has one of those core tenets or Hindu mythology or Hindu philosophy has one of these core tenets that there is a super soul Ek Paramatma uh, is there and it has manifested itself into smaller souls, smaller versions out there. That soul, like one of those smaller versions is in my body. This body is driven by that one single uh, soul and this, my, uh, just the soul that is inside me, uska purpose, the target for that soul is to go back and meet that super soul. So super soul, soul and go back to becoming the super soul. So, in short, I've explained Sanatan Dharma to you, the one of the core tenets. So, Westworld is very analogous to what it is, what I was talking about. So those balls are like souls. You can fit into a body and will operate. A robot can have a body and will operate just like a human does. It will have thoughts, it will have uh, ideas, notions, exactly like humans. So, Westworld is set in a technologically advanced world that we are currently living in. Aad se, gadgets, technology So it's all futuristic. So that soul concept is there and every robot slash human is trying to find that purpose, trying that drive, what to do, what not to do, what is my goal, what is real, what is not real, what if all of this is a simulation? All these questions are raised in Westworld while you're watching Westworld. So the show is created by Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan. Uh, it makes you think. It makes you actually think. So I'll give you my point of view. Why, what is my major reason of loving Westworld? There is a badass alpha version of myself that is out there in the future. Uh, he is more focused. He is more smart. He is more good looking. His dimples are better. And he is acceleratingly moving towards moksha and I aspire to become that so when I watch anything from the Nolans from Christopher Nolan, from Jonathan Nolan, from Lisa Joy I only watch these two things Westworld and Nolan's movies when I watch stuff like that it makes me think and it gets me closer to that closure nahi? closer to that version of myself that uh, alpha version of myself I don't know if I I'm feeling relatable and I'm feeling completely out of the box but this is what I feel once I watch that episode I cannot sit I need to talk 
I need to express what I am feeling. I feel an energy that I don't feel when I watch anything else. So that is my prime reason to watch Westworld because it makes me a better person after I'm done watching it. So let us talk about episode one, Pars Domine. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right or not, but it was directed by Jonathan Nolan himself. So we were in this episode. He had set things up for the next episode. In this, there is no non-linear storytelling as of now. Complexity has not set up yet. Because it gets complex. Uh, season two, I remember in the middle of the season, I had to literally drop making any assumptions or making any connection. I just was like, okay, feed me. I will understand it. जब समझना होगा तब समझूँगा. अभी बस give me the data. अभी अब ये शुरू हुआ है, it is not confusing. अभी एक एक track चल रहा है, एक एक linear track चल रहा है, which is easy to understand. So number one, the three main characters, Dolores, played by even Rachel Wood. She is on the mission on a deadly and on a deadly one to dominate the world. I will not be giving you spoilers for the series, for the episode. So you can go ahead and watch it आराम से. I'm just giving you an overview. Charlotte Hale, played by Tessa Thompson, the lovely Tessa Thompson. She is reopening the park, taking full control of Delos. So that is happening. Bernard, uh, played by Jeffrey Wright, is in. He is not particularly in a jail, but in a place where he is uh, supposed to get meat, butcher meat. And by the way, he is wanted by Interpol. He is at the end of the episode. He is going back to the park. He is going back to Westworld. The new introduction over here is Caleb, played by Aaron Paul, Breaking Bad guys. Good is a good addition to the cast. He was trying to figure out in life, trying to move on. Uh, he's stuck in a loop and he's trying to break the loop. And by the time the show ends, he ends up with Dolores. Uh, how? Watch the show. That is my advice. Two lines in the series that completely stood out for me. Uh, number one. Uh, that none of so there is a conversation in which a person is high. On drinks or on weed, I don't know what, and he's like, none of this is real. The reality that we're living in is not real. And then Dolores comes out with another line that I think people believe in things that help them. Stuff like this is what makes me go crazy for Westworld. It makes me really think my reality because the last thing I want to do is value underrated things in my life, not underrated. Undervalue things, unimportant things in, uh, or let us just say, overvalue unimportant things in my life. The the day I'm dead, just before dying, I should have lived a life where I valued important things, not stupid things. And such statements really make us think what is real and what is not real. Also, there's another line uh, in the big opening sequences of the of the episode. Uh, there's a line: "What is real?" And the answer is something that is irreplaceable. Stuff like that is gold. Great writing, great philosophy, underlining philosophy. Only if you have a taste for it. If you're not interested in listening to this stuff, and you think it's all jargon, just let me do my stuff. Let me just be in this freaking loop. Then you're not going to get what I'm talking about. Uh, it is very similar to uh, uh, to the Black Mirror world. Uh, Black Mirror season one episode two, where the guy gets cheated. Really brought things into perspective for me. Similarly, this episode and the elements that Westworld brings uh, out really brings things perspective in perspective for me. So, past domine. What does that mean? The phrase. There's always something hidden, right? Spare, Lord, spare your people. So it means. So it's it's it's, it's like a plea to Dolores. Yes, yeah, play. You know, save. You know, have mercy on us because she is on a killing spree and she is. Is there to take control? A lot of new things you will see. I'm not giving away any spoilers. Go ahead, watch the episode. So there's a post-credit scene. Let's talk about the post-credit scene. Thandi Newton as Maeve is uh, introduced, and I think the park is restarted. So she is being rebooted, and she gets the realization. Okay, she's alive now, and this setup is set up. This the the she she wakes up, she wakes up in a Nazi German West world. So the hosts are active now. So we have seen a Japanese, uh, you know, J uh, J a Japanese version of Westworld. Similarly, I think there's a German, uh, or you know, when the World War, wala phase chal raha tha. So that phase is being shown 
uh, made to be a part of that storyline or that arc. So that was the episode. We also got to see season two, episode two, the Winter Line car trailer. So let's. So I'm going to run the trailer over here. Let us see uh, what. Uh, what what is your key takeaways? Vincent Castle is seen. Uh, I'm, I hope I know I'm not pronouncing his name right. I'm so sorry for that. But Vincent Castle is seen, and is he the new Ford? Because I get those vibes. Also, a character was named. I forgot the name. I forgot the name in the first episode. As the someone who's, who was who holds a lot of power. So is he? Is Vincent Castle playing that role? So first things first. In the the trailer for the second episode, Dolores is being held by Caleb. Uh, Ed Harris is also shown. Bernard is looking for Maeve, and Maeve has Maeve is in in full form. She has a superpower. Uh, Vincent Castle, the new Ford, meets Maeve. Maeve meets Charlotte. So if you are an ardent follower of Westworld, you will get what I'm talking about. Lot of things is going down in the second episode. I cannot wait for it. And I know I'm a week late in watching the series and reviewing it. But this time I'm fine with it. I'm not going to compete with anyone. I'm just going to go out there and express myself every week when I watch an episode of Westworld. So that was my review, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section how did you find the review? Uh, any recommendation? Any suggestions? Please let me know. Uh, I have made a new uh, Kabi Singh into a Bash Pursue mashup kind of a comedy sketch. Uh, it will be available over here. You can go ahead and click and check that. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, stay, stay, stay safe. Stay indoors and have a great time. Thank you so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye bye.